Good day, wherever and whenever you are. This is David Perkins again with my book, I May or May Not Love You, from the terrific Ice Cube Press. I was going to read a poem today based on my many readings of Plutarch's essay on peace of mind, otherwise known as his essay on tranquility of mind. It's, that's the way it's most often translated. And it's a fantastic essay, um, particularly during these difficult times. I urge you to go read it. Um, I think you'll find a lot of solace in the wisdom there. And the poem that I was going to read would probably be more interesting and more enjoyable if you were familiar with it. You may be, um, but to be on the safe side. Anyway, I urge you to go find that essay. You will find it remarkable. Instead, today I'm going to read uh, the poem from which the title of the book comes, I May or May Not Love You, and the poem is Meditation in the Color of Sea. There are so many things I give up to speak to you this way, the sound, of course, and the color. If I could render spring in hues of green or autumn in contrasting characters of gold and red, would that enhance the meaning or be too much? I can't modulate the nuance by moving from C to B flat minor here either, but I go on, nonetheless, singing or croaking rather my way through my thoughts, as even the chiming of rhyming is no longer allowed. I feel compelled, though, to sneaking it in when no one is looking. Still, it would be fun to imposto lust and a reddish rust. There you caught me. Or serenity in varying gradations of violet and gray. Narratives like those for children, would be enlivened by a bit of crimson illustration. The cardinal in the bare winter tree, the sherry left at the bottom of a guest's glass. The waltz at, you, at the ball in Eugene Onegin can be done. One, two, three, one, two, three. Imagine the melody. I can only give you some simple black on white, black on white, or point your nose toward the memory of a rose, I suppose. But if I want to take you all the way there with me, you have to join me as co-conspirator, painting the roses red for the queen or watching for pink petals on a wet black bow at a station of the metro. I want you to surrender to me. I may or may not love you, but it is necessary for you to believe that I do so you can look into my eyes and see your unforgettable face reflected there as I do, so you will fall into us at this moment in a chorus of color and in an incandescence of song. Meditation in the Color of Sea from our May or May Not Love You from the terrific Ice Cube Press. I'll just leave you with this one last thought in these difficult times, love each other.